We just finished putting together this YouTube's Best of TIG Volume 2. These are some of the best TIG welding videos I've done over the past few years. Hope you can appreciate that you're watching here a video of a video shown on a big screen TV. It's crisp, it's clear, there's no buffering, there's no ads, there's no loss of resolution. You can see all kinds of detail. Good, clear, crisp arc shots along with explanations of what's going on in plain talk. I'm trying to give you a good feel for what's on this DVD and how it's tabbed off and with the menus and everything and you can easily navigate and find exactly what you're looking for and not have to wade through a bunch of stuff that you don't want to watch. I put a lot of effort into getting good, clean, crisp arc shots and then also then explaining exactly what's going on, how I'm feeding the wire, the arc length, the torch angle, amperage, I list settings. I do everything I can to help somebody take their TIG welding game to the next level. This is disc number three, which is carbon steel and chromoly. You can see here how I list the settings, the cup size, the gas flow, the amperage, all that stuff, along with good, crisp, clear arc shots. So you can see exactly what's going on. And if you're like me, that's the way I learn. You know, I need somebody to explain it and to show me, and then I'm off to the races. So I think that's the benefit of a DVD like this, because you can rewind it. You can press play as many times as possible. You can fast forward through the stuff that you don't want to watch. It's just a whole new experience, and it's pretty epic on a big screen. Back when I was in the corporate world, I used to teach TIG welding classes, and we used the Hobart courseware, the basic TIG welding class from Hobart. And it's over a thousand dollars for the four disc set. This is a four disc set for less than sixty dollars. And I'm not kidding, I'm not joking, I believe this is better than the Hobart DVD series. And why wouldn't it be? Because this represents several years of, of TIG welding DVDs that I've done and hundreds of hours worth of work trying to capture the best arc shots and give the best explanations covering carbon steel, chromoly, aluminum, stainless steel, and even some titanium. Check out the arc shot here on this cope tube stainless steel joint. The reason I work so hard to capture good crisp arc shots is because I know that if you can see what's going on, like I see it behind my welding helmet, you got a good shot of making that happen yourself. This is going to shorten your learning curve. Learning how to TIG weld on your own can be pretty frustrating. I went to welding school, so I had the benefit of that, even though most of the TIG welding that I learned was on the job, but at least I got a good foundation in welding school. I can't imagine trying to learn on your own without something like this to help shorten the learning curve for you. All right, last up is titanium. This is a titanium thin wall tubing joint for a bicycle. I visited my friend Mike Zancanato, who builds bicycles for a living. And he was just a wealth of information. In fact, at the end of the titanium bike welding video, we sat down and had a long interview and he just spilled a bunch of knowledge on TIG welding titanium for bicycle building. So if you're wanting to up your TIG welding game, I can't think of any better investment in yourself than this. Go add it to your cart right now. You won't be sorry.